I'm Jessica. I'm a nursing student at UMary, and I'm going to be demonstrating a wound care video today. So before I go into the room, I would check the patient's order and make sure I'm going to the right room. I could gather my supplies, and then I could head into the room, room after um, performing hand hygiene. Hello. How are you today? Can you give me your name and date of birth? Very good. Annie Gray, 519-69. Okay. So once I identified the patient, I can get them ready. I'm just going to raise you up a little bit, okay, Annie? How are you doing today? Are you in some pain? Okay, well, um, has it went down since they administered your pain medicine about 30 minutes ago? It has a little bit, okay? That's good. Um, do you have any questions about today's procedure? Okay, they already have done it, so you don't have any questions? And do you um, know some of the steps to do it, and can you verbalize them later for me? Okay, we can do that at the end. All right, sounds good. So I'm just going to pull back your blanket and I'll expose your wound here. You just relax while I do while I do this. So I'm apply gloves. And you just use clean technique to start to or while you're removing the um wound or the bandages. So I get my biohazard bag out. And remove the tape and the top dressing. There's no drainage on that, so that's good. The skin looks healthy. Looks like it is improving. There's some granulation tissue in there, so that's good. Okay, Annie, I'm going to pull out the um, packing, so it might hurt a little bit. Okay, the wound looks good. Um, like I said, there's granulation tissue, so it does look like it's healing with the redness in there. So now I'm going to remove my gloves. And now I'm going to set up my sterile field. So I'm going to open these. And open my solution. And open these. Make sure you keep this field sterile. You don't want to touch any of these before you have them on there. So first, what I'm going to do is put on my sterile gloves. And after I removed um, his old dressing, I can perform hand hygiene before I get my um, sterile field ready and all my supplies. I'm gonna go under the cup. Okay, you want to keep them above your waist so it's sterile. Um, can I have you dump that in there? I forgot yes. to do that. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with Annie as I'm going to cleanse your wound. 
So I'm going to take this damp dressing. I'm going to cleanse the middle. I know, I'm sorry, that's kind of painful. And then I will cleanse each side. I'll do the far side. And I'll do the near side, right by me. So after I cleanse the wound, I'm going to measure it. So I'm going to take one of my sticks out and the measuring line. I'm going to measure the length. And it looks like it's 20 centimeters by about three and a half. And it is about four and a half deep. Okay. And now I'm going to start packing the wound. And you don't want your tail to touch and be non-sterile. I'm going to pack. And, okay, that shouldn't happen, I know that. <laughs> you want to keep your tail sterile. Er, oh my gosh, your, yes, your tail of your gauze um, sterile and so you want it um, when you're packing you want it to be even with the top layer of the skin so you want to pack it till it's full and if that did happen in a normal procedure I would have to start over if the tail of that gauze touched and um, now I can measure for tunneling just to evaluate the wound. So it looks like there's no tunneling. And with that granulation tissue, that's good. I'm going to grab dry and I will put it over the wound. And you want two of those. So it covers the wound. How you doing, Annie? You doing okay? Okay, and then this last part, you would put, you don't want to touch the back side. You can touch the side with the blue stripe, but not the other one. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my tape and I can tape the dressing on. And one last piece. So it looks like the dressing is secured well. And now I can remove my sterile gloves. Cover me back up, Annie. Okay, okay, I got it away. Oh, I would before I remove my sterile gloves, I would put my initials on and date it so they know when it was done and the time it was done. So now I'll cover you back up, Annie. How does that feel? Does it feel better than it was? Okay. And can I get you anything right now? You're doing okay? 
Do you have any questions about the procedure? Okay, you don't, so you feel comfortable with it if you had to do it by yourself? Okay, very good. So later I could go back into the room and I would evaluate if there was drainage, how the wound looked, how the dressing looked, and then um, when I report and um, record my findings, I could report that I changed the dressing the time I did it, um, the type of drainage, how the wound looked, the color, the odor, um, the depth of it, or length and width, and um, then from there you can see if it's improving or not. So that is how you do a wound care video, and I would perform hand hygiene after I was done and clean up my supplies, and then I would be on my way.